And your rule is weak. I grow tired of this. Anti uh, anti Iosing? Anti Nelson? No, no. What the fuck is it? Ellison. The one that keeps fucking uh, textures to where they're supposed to be. Yeah, look at it! Look at it all pointy! It's got a pointy boob! Uh, oh no, oh. Well, I'm just, just gonna go this way. No, stop! Please! No, 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 no! Stop! No, please stop! No, just, just, no, I go, no, no, restart! <laughs> no, there is no, there is no ability. In fact, even I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to. Even if I did put all my effort into doing this, nothing will happen. There is no way out of this situation. You just sit here long enough, and it's just like, okay, you beat him. I don't know exactly, but I'm pretty sure you could do that for at least a minute. And mash as hard as you fucking can. Can I just link up, hook up my computer to your console and hit a macro for hitting the circle key? Maybe. So, okay, I don't know what it is about this, but God of War, this one in particular, with these CG cutscenes, Kratos' nipples look like little baby bottles. And it's really, it's, I know, okay, I know. It's really weird, though. You're, you'll understand when you see him again. Cause look at the detail on this is amazing for a PS2 game. That's what this was. This is a fucking PS2 game. Let, let that let the let the let the record show that this is probably one of the best CG scenes in PS2 history. It, because of Kratos's, um, well, like baby. Yeah, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at it! Look at He's poking him out. But no, like this was the later later in the PS2 era, so. So he died As again. Yeah. Out of Kratos, I think of I was trying to think of it because I couldn't remember. I think this is the only time when Kratos goes to hell. But he goes to hell again. Every god of war, he goes to hell. But this is one where he should have. This is technically him dead. But so what? He died before. He died in another scene. Becoming Ares' servant fucking killed him, basically. Fucking Ares killed him! Smack! Okay, sorry, what was he doing? He was staring at a rock. Mm. Kratos, you seem like an asshole. Wait, what did he say? Uh, so uh, he looks up at the skies like Kratos or Ares kill my enemies for me and my life is yours. Right, and that's the whole reason for God of War One is because of that. However, now you see shit like this where Athena is now your background because Ares is dead. But there's still more to it. Yeah, there's always way more to it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. I love him flexible. That's a little more than that. That's a little bit much, but... This is not are, you a are you a contortionist? I'd love to shove you in my closet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that got a little dark. <laughs> I don't want to meet the contortionist that can shove his own head up his ass. I am the Titan Gaia. Not, not fucking father. Michael Myers. I love Guru I either. So yeah, this is Gaia. I have been with you She's the Earth. The I just have love for her stuck in my head now. If you if you went to see the watch. nine to five, no, the ending. Oh, the fucking um, the hot, or the guy in goal, and he's like, if you can if you can watch an ele two elephants have sex and not be distracted by it, you've got it. You're cured. Only with their it's, it's a good point, though. That's throughout the whole movie. They're like, distraction is the key. Using that distraction and not caring about it. Because even, yeah, even though, even if you put two elephants in a room where, like, people are literally discussing the meaning of life, they will go, what the fuck's happening with those two elephants? Like, that's some shit. <laughs> some people are having sex and they see two elephants having sex and they're like, well, we gotta stop having sex and watch them have s this. Look at them. We gotta have more sex than they sex. 
The mace set. It becomes a competition between you and the elephant. That's a messed up competition. <laughs> I don't think I want to know who wins that one. The elephant. Yeah. I mean, think about it. You're that huge and you're getting mad puss. You must be doing something right. What am I doing? Attack it! I can't! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I can't deal with that. Why are they all the same? Um, because rendering to 500 different hands would be is too much hard. Harder. It's really hard, though. All they do is they take one hand and they start one in one animation, and the next one starts yeah, the same animation. Much. They're like, oh, look at all the hands! Like, if you give Kratos 500 extra hands, you wouldn't be like, oh man. Kratos is like a five million armed bandit. Like, no, he's just fucking. He doesn't even know how to coordinate these two hands. He's got Take too many hands. Take the bow. The corpse of a fallen Spartan. Take the bow. Hold on, let me just stand on this guy for a little bit. <laughs> oh, another corpse. Oh, is that not him? Is it this one? What? Someone's fucking alive. What? Someone is fucking alive. What? I'm not even kidding. Well, pans in on that. Oh, it's him! It's him! What's up, buddy? How you doing? You like my sandal? <laughs> you like? Lick does the, the gripping look good? Lick the bottom of it. Oh man. So you're still actually fighting that skybox looks like shit. They're still fighting. Yeah. Now there is there is absolutely still a war going on, even though Zeus clearly killed everyone. Yeah. But I mean, fuck that logic, right? Because they're still fighting. Yeah. Look at one of the PSP yeah. games literally starts. What does it say in about this war. him? This guy? No, the guy who's alive. It says, "I'm gonna grab you by the chest and pull you." I knew you could not be killed. I never lost faith. You <laughs> fuck. You never lost faith in this? Our brothers are dead. You are an idiot, my friend. Alright, Seacrest, out. Bullshit. No, it's just gonna throw you back into hell. <laughs> it's... Uh, I like that it's right in the center. This is, this is hell. Mm. So, okay. is, that, is that supposed to be a like Pegasus? Okay. Yeah, it's it's sort of a Pegasus. It's a Pegasus. It's a flaming Pegasus. Yeah, <laughs> he's a flaming Pegasus. Pegasus just shows up. He's like, "Hi guys, I'm Pegasus. I'm gonna take it off and snow. Please get on, Kratos. No, don't pull my hair like that. It really hurts." You can't talk to a horse, Kratos. He's literally yelling at Pegasus, like, STOP! The dog. The dog of war. He's basically Kane and Lynch. Doge. He's a doge? Doge. <laughs> Oh, I want Do that picture. Over this? I want that picture of Kratos with the doge head. I want that so bad. Wee! Yeah, so I got the inverted controls. Yay for really, inversion! This is really weird. Confusing. Left, right, left, right, and forward. Because I got. Oh no! We're fighting ah. the Griffins! We're fighting Griffins! It's a Griffin fight! Where's Peter? <laughs> what do they call her? Ew. Uh, 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 P, uh, Tear, uh, Griffin. Ah, oh, <laughs> That's overkill. Just chop off the wings, let it Chop pose. off the wings and chuck it back in the fucking earth where it came from.
back where it belongs. You I, mythical beast that never truly existed. Well, I well no no, no well, I'm not gonna say those existed, but I'm gonna say no. Um, unicorns, they exist. Unicorns don't exist. No, if you no, take no, a no, unicorn just, and remove its horn, it does not no, become no, no, a horse. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they do exist. Just let me finish, okay? Okay. Uh -uh. So there what happened? Go. What happened to all the unicorns is all there's so many people that like them. There's some people who are like, no, you don't get fucking unicorns anymore. So they chopped the legs off the, the unicorns and they threw them in the ocean. Now they're narwhals. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Yeah, oh yeah. They adapted. Oh my god. Because of the fucking the healing that they have, they just, they just adapted to it. They're like, yeah, we're gonna live in the ocean now. <laughs> it changes the song up from uh, narwhals to... Unicorns, unicorns, hanging in the ocean, causing a commotion, because they are so awesome. Even though they got their feet cut off. <laughs> oh man, that must be a process. Actually, I, was no, I was talking to someone today, because there's a statue of a unicorn at work for some reason. What? Yeah, I know, it's really weird. But I saw it, and I was like, hey, look, because its, it's horn is ripped off. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, it's just a horse. And I'm like... Yeah, you're fucking right. If you take the horn off of a unicorn, does it not just become a horse? Like Pegasus, you know, you fucking take the the wings off of Pegasus, it's still a Pegasus. The wings were still there. But you remove the horn from a fucking unicorn. What else does it got? Wait, like if you just cut it off or if you like Like I'm saying sur surgically fucking remove that bitch. As if you were trying to take it for ivory. As if it was a fucking elephant tusk. I feel like it would still grow it back somehow. You think unicorns can grow their horns back? Well, okay, question. Do Can we grow our nails back if our nails completely gone? Yes. I suppose you're right. Well, Jesus Christ, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> With that logic, anything can happen. Oh, oh, ah! Oh my god, turkey! It's a turkey vulture! It's a fucking turkey vulture! It's dead. It's fucking dead. Javelin! So, this is the basic equivalent of the uh, weird, uh, whatchamacallit guys? The, uh. Ah, fuck. They look like, uh. Mr. Tumnus from fucking. What? What? Yeah! I'm not even kidding, it's like Mr. Tumnus. They're fucking weird goat men. No shit! There was no way out of that! Lair of the Titan. We really are actually fighting Titans. Or, no, that's the third one. Yeah. We're joining Titans. Don't you release them? Look! It's the foot! Oh! Don't you end up releasing all of them? No, not necessarily. We help Gaia, and then through Gaia, she helps out with a few more. And then you but kill I mean, them. Yeah. It's like, that's only like, probably like, 10 out of 100 Titans. Like, there should be a Titan to every fucking, like, element. And object, and fucking whatever, like. There are a lot of Titans that are supposed to be out there. Okay. Can I have my horse back, please? Excuse me, sir. Sir. Sir, you, you're a fucking asshole. Pegasus, why? Bite him, Pegasus! Bite him! Bite him good! Rip off your fucking wings. Come here! Ah, uh, man, Kratos. Really an asshole. There's not really much else to say about it. I mean, to be fair, this Pegasus wouldn't even be in this situation if Kratos hadn't tried to fly it into the fucking Titan like an idiot. Like, what, you want to get a picture, Kratos? What was the deal here? I don't understand why I had to fly so damn close to that Titan. Hi. 
Oh look, they're like goat men too. They're all like Mr. Thomas. <laughs> Weird, monstrous Mr. Thomas. The lion, the witch, and the Kratos. <sighs> I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> really? You couldn't think of Mr. Tumnus? You could realize the lion, witch, in the wardrobe? The name didn't go into my head. I'm sitting here going, uh, I'm sitting here going, what the fuck are you talking Mr. about? Mr. Tumnus. Now I know what you're talking about. Don't they know? Look at that. Look at that weird goat legs. All I was saying in my head is fucking epic movie. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Magic. Holy shit. Believe he in, must be one of the gods. Believe in magic, you muggle. Do you believe in magic? In Kratos' lab? I got the magic, baby! Oh. oh, stop it. No. Why are you guys doing this even? Doesn't even make sense. Why can't you crawl around on the ceiling? Well, like, what, what are they gaining from doing this? Um, impeding your course of action. That's about it. Like, they're putting themselves in danger by doing this. They're, they know, they have to know that there's nothing they can do to kill me. Why didn't Zeus just clean off, take your head at that point? He had the, yeah! He had the opportunity. He did! You're right. And he's just like, I'm gonna stab a hole in your chest. Yeah. Yeah, he basically sounds like fucking Richard Simmons. <laughs> what? Uh... I'm gonna stab a hole in your chest, and then we're gonna go left and right and left and right. Come on, work those birds, Kratos! Work those calves! We're gonna have you climbing Mount Olympus in no time! That, that just reminds me of like those 30 minute to fit videos. <laughs> to fit. Yeah. You have to do it every day, 30 minutes, and you get fit. <laughs> Whoa! Lag happening here. Look at these, look at these weird ice demons. Look at his feet. Look at his feet. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, uh, it's cute. He doesn't want to die. Brutality. <laughs> they did a good job, I suppose, in a way, by choosing to use monsters and fucked up demons, because this game would never have sold if you were just killing people. Like it would have, just not for a long, long time. <laughs> like, fuck, what game just came out that was like that? Like, I don't know, probably a year or two ago? Um, you mean the one where you're just a dude shooting people for no fucking reason? No, not shooting people. I'm, I'm thinking, um, the, um, the other one where you're a Spartan and they give you, like, viable finisher, uh, viable shit in game. Um, Rise? Is that what it's called? Are to water? No. I really just want to search that up now. It's that like, sounds interesting. No, it's shit. Was, Don't buy it, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, so what's, no. it's, what's the deal here in this well, game? You, you said, well, no, see, now you say that, and I'm kind of... You, you, you said a game with Spartan, and... and yeah. You know... Shitty games get some good views sometimes. Hello, Mr. Creepy Bird. Holy shit. You know, every now and then, you gotta play a shit game after you play so many good games just to kind of wean in the process. I I'm trying to remember what it is. Um. Dead. No more life for you. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's Rise, R Y S E, or R I might be saying it wrong. Um, Son of Sparta. Shitty game, huh? Like really um, shitty. Um, something happened. I don't know what it is. If it's just like a shitty port, but man, this game's having some fucking issues. 
You see it? Wait. Yeah. What? I don't know what the fuck that is, but apparently it's right there, <laughs> floating in midair. Okay, it is something. It's the chain. It's the chain, and then it's a weight. Okay. But it won't load in this far away. It's still really bad. I don't remember that in the original God of War. Or, like, the original of this game. Ugh, fucking hell. There's the picture on the cover. Okay, I have seen that. It's a shitty fucking game. Don't buy it, please. <laughs> I love that you said, don't buy it, please. No, please don't make us play this for the channel. Oh, don't worry, I probably Like, don't. I will pay, pay them to not have to play their shitty game. Uh, this is cool, yeah, it's got like veins and shit. Wait, the- oh, cool. Ugh! <laughs> Why is it eating him? Uh, because... It's hungry? This is a real thing. Think not- okay, so how did This is not a real thing. But this is actually part of Greek mythology. Who has placed you in this torment? Zeus. Yep. My only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal. As punishment, he made kind of is, isn't it? Isn't the fires of Olympus supposed to be really important? To be savagely consumed every day by this cursed bird, and then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? This guy has a really, really shitty face. I suffered this curse. I truly do not know. Do you get to kill him? So I was about to say, this technically would qualify as probably one of the few good deeds that Kratos actually performs in all of God of War. And it is still very mean and very brutal. But yes, we will put him out of his misery before this game is over. Please so just Sparta, as he dies, he, he is healed. Yeah, and then the bird eats him again, and yeah. Process repeat. It is bullshit, and the only reason is because he brought the flames to the fucking people, and Zeus got pissed off. Yeah. Also, he's really huge. Like, this guy is huge. He's so fucking big for no reason. Like, he's bigger than Kratos. I should have sat there for a second, but yeah, like, if you look at that, like, he was leaning up till that first digit. Yeah? Like, he's twice the size of Kratos! And Kratos is like seven to eight feet tall! I mean, this guy's like 15 feet fucking tall! He's a giant! So I can't do anything right now. Sorry. Hang in there! I'm back! Sick joke. I'll be- Hang in I'll there. I'll friends! It really- it makes me feel like such a dick, but I mean, there's nothing you can do. And if you leave him there, the bird will start eating him again. <laughs> so it's like, your best- For his sake, you might as well just put him in a hanging position. At least, at least he gets a nice view. Warm ass. He's over the fire. And more of these guys. And more of the fucking Mr. Thomas dudes. I will, can someone give me a Mr. Thomas with full armor? Because I know that it exists. You could probably search it up. I might it. have to search it up. So I feel like that is probably the best character I could ever possibly witness. In fact, it's so good that I think if I ever made a game, I would use that as my main and only enemy. <laughs> No, I'm not making fun of this game's enemy design at all! What are you talking about? It's just, you name each and every one, and when you, like, you actually have like, a part where they can talk, it's like, I'm Mr. Tumnus. I'm Mr. Tumnus. I'm Mrs. Tumnus. I'm Mr. Tumney. I'm Mr. Troom. It's like you all have the same name, basically. I'm Mr. Tumnus' grandfather. Mr. Tumnus. Mr. Tumnus. 
Hi, Mr. Tumnus' sister. Mr. Tumnus. Wait. I'm sorry, what? No, you heard me. We're pretty fucked up family. What? You realize I'm half goat. What were you really expecting? In a world where a man can be mixed with a goat, do you really expect that there wouldn't be incest? Don't go that road, please. Oh, you think about it, it's not like Mr. Thomas' parents were both goat people. I was more talking about the incest portion of the bestiality. It's not like Mrs. Dertumnus' parents weren't bro- <laughs> Yes, my brother is a goat. My sister is a human. We don't make sense. But we do make sense. We do make a son who has a really, really weird backstory. He's also evil. Remember that? Remember Tumnus being a dick? Didn't he change his ways in there? <laughs> he changed his ways from being a cool guy who helps out a little girl who's lost and scared to being a piece of shit. And then says, oh, I'm sorry. Fuck you. Fuck you, you goat bastard. You ruined everyone's lives. It's a Gorgon. It's a Gorgon. And she's missing half of her body. I like this design. This is probably my favorite design for the Gorgons. However, it really accentuates the tits. Actually, you know what it really does is it shows you that, like, their it's like their attempt for a Gorgon to try and reach that female figure. Because when you see the later uh, Medusa, she's like fat alligator-looking freak monster, whereas these things are like all fucked up and feminine-looking, lanky. Stop it! Stop it! You don't want to turn to stone. I do not want to get stoned. <laughs> Die, you bitch! Bullshit! I hit that exactly how you wanted me to do it. No, I didn't. I tried. <laughs> oh! Oh, two more! That's unfortunate. Everything good comes in threes. So. Basically, as men, we're fucked then, right? Wait, what? We only come in twos when you think about a certain orientation. What? Hell, Hitler got fucked, he only had one. I'm so confused. We need three balls. To truly be men. And great. Like Kratos here. Yeah, see, you just, you know Kratos. You, you specifically have ordered that a horrible, horrible wreck. No, horrible you, image of fucking Kratos no, no, no. with three testicles. <laughs> you ordered the atomically correct Kratos figurine. You mean anatomically? A yeah, sorry. Atom wait, wait, what did I say? You said atomic. <laughs> which would be like Kratos, which would be a nuclear disaster in which you might end up with three balls. <gasps> to be quite honest. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I squeaked. <laughs> I was trying to think of. Oh fun. no! No, what's going on even? Holy shit, I was kept by her thing? Laughing too hard. And the other guy. And it all just went bad. She whipped you. How does that make you feel? Whip it! Whip it good! I deleted that app off my phone, otherwise I'd use it right now. <laughs> are you allowed to come hang out? Shining oh. objects? You are able to break or interact with objects that are shine! No. You're able to interact with objects that shine. Just walk into the room. I search a room. I search the room for sparkles. For the shiny objects. Well, no, we're okay. Me and my friends are playing D and D one time, right? So okay. I go into this room and I'm trying to search for something, right? I'm I'm a halfling, so I'm this tall. Uh, see, here, okay. Yep. So I'm searching the room. I rolled like uh, you have to roll a D twenty, right? Okay. Just try and the DM decides if you find something or not. Well, I roll a 19. The DM says you find a nice carpet. That's it. Okay. My friend Cole, he rolls a natural 20 and he immediately, he doesn't say I search, I, I just search the room. He said specifically, I search the room for sparklies. 
Ugh. rolled a natural 20, and he found a jewel-encrusted dagger on the chandelier that was 20 feet in the air. Uh. Of course, I couldn't find it because fuck you, Logic! You've just turned into VGVR, Vocal Gaming, with the voice of reason on YouTube. The next greatest gaming channel to hit the internet, focusing on amazing content like Let's Play. This thing happened, you're in Gotham City. Oh, oh, I like that. Rage quits. Throw the sl like, you want the slurpy- Mother! And test plays. So his entire- Okay, this- okay, I, when- when you were downloading this, I had no idea. Just a couple of men performing some of the best commentary on YouTube right now. So tune in and subscribe to VGVR. Game commentary at its finest.